I'm here with Dave. Now, Dave, you're in charge of the mobile track here at UBS. That's correct. So what things have the mobile people been talking about this time? Well, we're doing some planning. We've got uh, the ARM port that's happening. We're working on, uh, we're picking up netbooks. Uh, what has What is the uh, Ubuntu netbook remix? We're picking that up and bringing it into Jaunty, so it'll be a fully supported uh, flavor. And uh, we're going to be quite busy. So we've been talking about all of those type of things, trying to get ready for for getting Jaunty out the door. Excellent. So is, is your team expanding a bit to deal with all the netbook stuff as uh, well? Indeed it is. We'll be adding five heads in the next, um, well, hopefully less than 30 days. Excellent. Okay. So in terms of uh, handheld devices, uh, is that where the ARM port is going to come in? Well, the ARM port is actually a, a port of the entire desktop, but because of the, the differences in ARM, it's historically been an embedded chip. Um, I've got a fair amount of background in ARM, as do others, and uh, so they kind of, and we had some cycles originally to do the port, so we're kind of doing the port. We don't actually expect a, a, a huge amount of work to, to get the port done. Uh, it's ARM runs in uh, uh, Debian, and uh, we've got some things that are unique to, to Ubuntu and getting it all set up, so there's a lot of initial turn on work, but the, the actual packages we think are going to come in pretty well. I suppose the question that people are going to want to know is when will I be able to buy a mobile device like a phone or something with Ubuntu on or is that not quite the direction we're headed in? Well, it won't be a phone, at least not for the immediate future, but uh, you can buy netbooks with Ubuntu on it today and uh, you'll, uh, I would imagine uh, before the end of the year you'll, you'll find a lot more netbooks with Ubuntu on it um, and you'll also um, eventually find some mids, but Right now, the big market penetrator has been everybody's buying netbooks. Everybody's mm. crazy about netbooks, and uh, I think we're running on most of the netbooks. Is there a lot of work to refactor the GUI to make it fit on a small form factor screen? That's really what it is. For netbooks, the issue is is that you know it's kind of funny when you go back in, in time a little bit. We all had 640 by 480 uh, laptop screens, and that was you know fantastic. We had lots of screen space, and since then, over the years, we, we've gone. Uh, to bigger and better. I mean, now my 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 net my laptop inside is sixteen hundred by twelve hundred, and you can't actually get GNOME you know, on a six forty by forty screen real well now. It has issues, hmm. um, and netbooks uh, tend to even be smaller than that. It's it's uh, uh, vertical sizing of of uh, you know much smaller. Wide doesn't seem to be the issue, but hmm. but high is the issue right now in most netbooks. So it's the things like dialog boxes that are. Yeah, eight hundred pixels high. Yeah, just don't fit on. Right, and and a lot of this, a lot of the boxes don't. Or we never thought of having scroll bars. They don't have the capability, mm -hmm. so things drop off the bottom of the screen, and you can't reach them. And so there's a lot of cleanup work that's going to be needed, and we're all going to have to think about it's nowadays instead of just thinking, oh, I've got bigger and bigger and bigger screens. We're going to have to think, yeah, but now we get these little ones too. <laughs> And we think is it the Netbook Remix? It's a slightly different interface. It's not the standard GNOME interface. That's right. The Netbook Remix actually uses a clutter interface. Um, kind of netbooks are kind of thought to be a little different. They're not general purpose notebooks. They're they're more for internet browsing, uh, watching videos, things like that. So it was a simplified interface that fit on that smaller screen, looked good, and where it was a little easier to use. Okay. Um, and is that something we're going to see develop further into Jaunty? Indeed. We're going to take the, uh, the Netbook Remix uh, clutter interface and take it quite a bit. It's being brought forward to the latest clutter. It'll be upgraded, updated, uh, made more generic. The original UNR was made to fit specific screens, so we're going to generalize it a bit more within the team and get it so that it'll fit on different sizes and so forth. So is the plan for Jaunty to have a, a downloadable version that I could run on in theory? any or at least most netbooks? Well, the, uh, that would be the hope. Right. Yeah. Um, I, I, I'm not going to say it will definitely do that because, <laughs> uh, you know, as soon as I say that, there'll be some netbook that has lots of proprietary devices and, and it doesn't sure. go. But the intent is to have a fully open source version of the netbook remix that would, yeah, you put an image and drop it on to, theoretically, you could drop it on a laptop if you wanted to. Seems like you might not want to, but for testing, it, it'll work fine. So what do you think is the major thing that you and your team are going to take away from this UDS and, and have as your real main wow. overriding thought from this? Uh, gee, we've just got a huge amount of work. Um, you know, like I said, we've, we've still got to go through and test all the ARM stuff, make sure that, that it all has come across. The buildies have been quite busy. 
Um, uh, we're on the second give back on that, so it's really coming coming along really well. Um, and then we've got to, we've got to work on the uh, what what has been the netbook remix and and get it generalized, get all the packages into Ubuntu, and get them all up to date, which is a bit of a challenge. Um, uh, they were originated back for 804, and they haven't been brought forward. Uh, so now we're going to bring them forward in a big jump. Is that something you would like help with from the community, filing bugs and testing things? We always want help from the community. Um, one of the things that's most exciting for us right now, you know, in the past we've been focused on the mids. Or the original, when, we, when the team was formed, it was focused on the mid devices. And my biggest frustration back those days was there was no hardware. It was very hard to ask the community, please test this, when no one in the world had devices. And I'm really excited. The netbooks now, we can go down to the corner store practically and buy a netbook. Uh, the ARM port, um, we, you know, you can buy ARM devices. So I'm really hoping that we get really strong response from the community, both on the ARM side and on, on the, uh, on the uh, netbook side, and then we can start building this community. And that's the, probably the most exciting thing for me personally, because it's been greatly frustrating to talk to people, tell them about great things, and you go, gee, I'm really sorry, there's no hardware yet. So where can people go to find out more? Uh, they can always come to the Ubuntu site, uh, to, the, to the Ubuntu wiki, and uh, uh, we've got the mobile team there, and uh, we've got the mobile team, of course, up on Launchpad, and come on out, and, um, and also on to the uh, uh, Freenode uh, Ubuntu-Mobile channel. We're always around. Uh, we're spread pretty much across the world. That's kind of the fun thing about our team. We're one of the more distributed ones from Australia all the way back around to the U.S. and, and dotted pretty well across that. So there's generally somebody up most of the time. So, yeah, stop in, and, and we're always happy to talk about what we're doing. And anybody wants to test things or contribute patches, we're looking for them. Excellent. Well, thanks for talking to me. Thank you very much.